Hey ladies, it's me David again. Today I'm going to take you all through a must-have security app for your Android phones. It's called the Android Device Manager. It is an essential tool that each and every Android user must download and use. This app allows you to access your phone using your Google account. It also allows you to change the lock code, erase or view your device location. So let me show you how it works. So this is the Android Device Manager. Before you come to this page, you're going to have a sign-in option when you have to sign, sign in with your Gmail account. So this is the home page. So right now, I'm, this is a map of the exact location where I'm holding my phone. So right now, I'm at Lower Perel. So the map is, you need a GPS on for that. So here I have the model number of the phone that I'm holding right there. And here we have a ring option and set up link and raise. So let's click on ring. Your device will ring at full volume for five minutes. Press the power button to stop the ringing. So let's hear the trance track that I've put in. Haha, <laughs> so that's what I have going on right now for me. It'll go on for five minutes straight until I stop it. So I'm just gonna mute that right there, stop it. So, Let's go ahead and click on set up, lock and erase. So here you can remotely locate this device, show device location on Android device manager. So if I was to misplace or lose my phone, I can access the location of this phone from Android device manager online. So I need to go to the website and I can access my phone from there using my Google account. Allow remote lock and erase. If you lose your device, you can remotely lock or factory reset it with Android device manager. So uh, if, I do choose, if I do lose my phone and I have a lot of sensitive information that I did not back up, I can reset my phone online uh, manually from there. So it'll be difficult for people to get any information on my phone because it'll, it'll be like the phone was just a new piece. But I haven't tick marked that right now, so I'm just going to leave it be. So yeah, let me show you what else this app has. Let me click on Android Device Manager up on the left. Here we have connected apps at the top. So I have apps connected to this app that matter to the app presently. So it's like Quora, Trello, and UEFA.com. So you can't really add more apps to this. It just, you can only have, the, the, device, the app automatically tells you what apps are connected to your phone. You can't really decide what apps should or should not be connected to your phone. So uh, the location on this app uh, you can see you only need you need your GPS on so let's just click on that so yeah so right now it's set at GPS only so it only uses the GPS to track my phone the device manager takes up most of the battery usage and the Google Play services does pretty much the same and Google search but Google search doesn't take up too much of battery power and let's go back and you have search in now so you can search for anything on your phone from phone search you can look for it using your a voice message that you speak to your phone and you'll find it. You have accounts and privacy and notifications. You have drive enabled apps and account history. So let's go to account history. You have Google search history, which you can delete and update and check from time to time if you wanted to go back on something. This is pretty much it about this app. Uh, the most important part is actually logging on to the website and accessing your phone from there. You can do a whole bunch of things to your phone from the website. Check it out and let me know what you think. So the main function of this app is to protect the data on your phone that may or may not be stolen or misplaced. This application is very similar to the common iPhone app called Find My iPhone. The features are the same and the functions have been successfully ported to suit an Android device. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please try it out yourselves. This video was brought to you by Greshoba and One Network. Ciao!